What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas with TMWYT. Today is the day we're finally picking up the Golf R from Rap. We're gonna be at the shop in just a couple minutes, so we'll flash forward to that. All right guys, car's all done. I ain't even gonna front, we're just gonna show it. It's not done yet, we gotta go throw all the parts on, but here is the wrap. It's tech wrap, gloss, coral, peach, metallic. It looks fire. Looks so good, guys. Out here in the Utah sun. Looking so great. Turned out so sick. Let's go home, get it put all together. Just gotta drive back from Ogden real quick, but let's go get it put together. No more time wasting. All right, we just got back from the wrap shop here at the house. Got all the parts laid out. And they look so cool. This, guys, this turned out better than I could have imagined. I saw this color about six months ago. I'll say it again. I think I said it earlier in the video, but it's a tech wrap, coral, peach, gloss, metallic. I'll leave the uh, the wrap code in the description along with the, uh, the link of where I got it. Well, where my wrap shop picked it up from. Um, it, guys, it's... It's gonna come across different on camera, obviously, but in person, it is, it's absolutely insane. We got the carbon fiber spoiler, just parts of it wrapped. We got the ski box here, side skirts, all four flares, there's all the bumper pieces. But man, it just turned out so cool. But let's get it all put back together. Now let's, we're probably just gonna start off with getting the bumper reassembled. Um, and then we'll toss the flares on and um, get the ski box up. All right, guys, we are working late into the night. It is dark out. Still got parts as far as the eye can see to go on, but the front bumper is on the car. I'm now just gonna work on, where did it go, where did it go? Oh, the badgeless grill. Okay, here we have the badgeless grill, and I would just throw this on, but I'm actually gonna defeat the purpose of the entire badge grill because I am putting the R badges back on the R. Mainly because I think it'll look really cool just to have the little touch of chrome. So I think the little touch of chrome to match the chrome lips and the stickers I did back here, even though these are rainbow chrome, by the way, it turned out so sick, so dope. Okay, um, the chrome badges will match the chrome lips and you don't even know how many times this car gets mistaken for a GTI, which I used to get butthurt about, and then I just realized like, only Volkswagen owners know the difference between an R and a GTI. That's just how it is, but hopefully putting the R badges back on will uh, help people out a little bit. And I, I, I like the R badges, but no more VW logos. Those are gone for good, but R badges are going back on, so. Okay guys, I know what you're thinking. Thomas, you just installed a car part using super glue. It's just a badge on my grill. We're okay. If it flies off or if it ruins my grill, I can just get a new one. All right, we have the uh, R badge installed with the super glue on the badge's grill. And uh, let me tell you, the super glue, it was um, Volkswagen super glue, so OEM approved. <laughs> Uh, but we are just gonna slide this into place. It kind of just sets right on here and then slides back. But one thing I did want to mention to you guys is what I did before working on this car was, or tearing it apart three months ago, was labeling everything in plastic baggies. So now that I'm putting everything back together, I have front bumper with a bag labeled, all the hardware needed. 
and I have badgeless grill with all the hardware needed for that. And that goes throughout the whole car, left and right side skirt. Anything I took off, I made sure to label just so you're not having parts and pieces and bolts and whatnot mixed up. So just a, I don't know, a pro tip. You know? Even though I'm not a professional. Oh my goodness, it looks so dope. I'm so excited. I haven't had the front end all put together on this car in so long. And I really, really like how the, the single R badge, just uh, putting just the R badge back on looks, I think it looks awesome. It's a nice tie-in with the chrome on the headlights, the chrome badge and the chrome wheels. I'm sorry, I like everything kind of matchy matchy. All right guys, next on the chopping block is the carbon fiber spoiler which is gonna be pretty simple. And they ended up just doing a little bit of detail wrap on there just to kind of make it uh, blend in with the rest of the car. But I left the exposed carbon on the bottom and the top, which will look pretty sick, I think. Um, and so all we're gonna use, try not to scratch anything. I just got 3M tape. Guys, it's about midnight right now. We got the bro helping me out in these midnight hours trying to get the car finished. Here's the carbon fiber wing. It took some finessing, two people. Um, yeah, it was not as easy as I thought. But like, fitting its money, bro. Like, if you look at this, you're like, dope. It matched, like, we matched it up to the trunk line, like, as best we could. All right. Um, now I'm gonna toss on the side skirts, and then we can do the flares, and then the box. All right, we just got the skirts put on on both sides. They're looking great. Uh, super close clearance up here, but we cleared it, so we're good. Skirts haven't been on the car in over three months, so it's good to have them back on. The next thing we're working on is the roof racks. We can put the ski box up top, so time lapse time. All right, roof racks are on, looking so great. Perfect. We're just gonna grab the box, toss that up there. All right guys, we just got the box perfectly mounted. It looks fire. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to show you guys. All right guys, we're getting the flares done um, and I'm just trying to figure out how to mount the, well, I just figured it out actually, that's why. So we're trying to mount the weather stripping, right? That I got to go around the edge of the fenders. Um, I was trying to brainstorm ideas in my head. Ended up going with the same method I used for the, the wing. Just cause I want this to not be like permanent cause they are wrapped, so. I feel like 3M is gonna be easy enough to pull off the back of the fenders um, and pull these off if I ever need to, to redo them. So I think this is the best method to go. So I just got like three more packages of those. And I'm just basically gonna line the back side of the fender here and then attach my weather stripping. I've been dating your brother for all this 
two consecutive years and you've changed your car color three times. I don't know what you're talking about. What are you gonna do about it? Alright guys, we got the car all put together, all finished up, the wrap is done, everything is completed that I had planned up until this point. I ended up going with a tech wrap, coral, peach, gloss, metallic, if you are looking to do the same color or just want to look it up. That is the color I ended up deciding, it's like a peach, kind of, you know, as the name implies, coral, peach, gloss, metallic. Just appears in, in many different colors depending on the lighting scenario, looks super awesome. Um, let me just go some, over some of the things that changed. We added the R badge up front here. The weather stripping and the hardware I decided for the flares turned out amazing as well as the flares turned out really nice. Got really good fitment, ended up wrapping really well. Um, I think the contrast of the weather stripping and the hardware with the wheels and everything, it just, it's perfect. Um, up here on the front, kind of hard to see. I don't know if anybody's noticed it yet. Uh, I got a Toyo Tires banner to blend in with the satin black roof up here. So satin black Toyo Tires banner, satin black roof kind of blends all the way down to here and the Toyo Tires is cut out. The box has been wrapped as well in the same color to match the car. Looks awesome. As you can see the light just changed the color of the wrap as we walk down. Just looks so good with the wheels. Love how it turned out. You can see I ended up doing this uh, kind of piece all the way around my carbon fiber spoiler if you've seen a video on that if not I'll leave it up at the top of the screen here um, just blends the makes the whole carbon fiber spoiler look OEM almost and then you get up close and you see that it's carbon which turned out so awesome and then they wrapped the back of the box the satin black like the roof which I think turned out for a really nice look and then I added my little personal touch my little uh, surprise Pikachu back here um, I just think it's the perfect look when you're looking at the rear end of the car and you're like, oh, that's kind of wide. And then you see the surprise Pikachu. Just a little touch, just like, you know, my sorry about your neck plate. <laughs> just a little, little personal touches there. And then we got the uh, rainbow chrome uh, decals for uh, the sponsors on this build, Visual Lab, Airlift Performance, and Revolve Wheels. Looks so nice in the rainbow chrome. I think it's a nice look with the color shifting wrap. You can see there. It's got that rainbow chrome effect. And then we added the R badge back here as well. And then we did satin black down here on the license plate part. And that pretty much covers it, guys. I think it turned out really great. Really love the look. The wrap looks amazing. So great. Just changes colors in all different lights. Um, but that's pretty much it. We got the uh, build all up and complete up to the wrap. Now we'll just uh, chill for a bit and plan out all the power mods, which are going to be coming to the channel very soon. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like down below. Let me know what you think of the new wrap. Um, if you are new to the channel, definitely subscribe. I got lots of more car content coming, lots of car content, lots of car content on there right now. Uh, this car and other cars, if this isn't your thing. Um, but please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.